welcome to The Sheer Luck Show. I'm Olivia Wayne and joining me on the sofa today are Charlotte Collins, Polly Sayer and Tamara Corrin. Welcome ladies. Now on today's show, Style Watch is back and that means we'll be bringing you some of the best celebrity and street styles out there this week. Plus, later I'll be chatting to top makeup artist MJ. She's going to be sharing her tips on the best beauty products that will fit in your hand luggage. But first, the trailer has been released for the new film adaptation of Little Women and I am excited. I'll just briefly tell you who's in it. Saoirse Ronan, Emma Watson, Florence Pugh, Timothy Chalamet, Meryl Streep, Laura Dern. I mean, they all star in the Louisa May Alcott drama. Going to be out on Boxing Day. Best time for movies. Mm. What did you think? Excited? Did you love the book? Did you like the last one? The trailer looks amazing. It does, it, it? Yeah, it makes me really want to watch it. God, I don't know if I've ever read Little Women. You no. know one of these books where you're just not quite sure? I'm you, I bet you have I read it. I kind of assumed you would have read it. Yeah, but I think I if think I did, I was really young. You're such a grammar police. Like, surely, like, you'd love a good read. <laughs> Even perfect people have flaws. <laughs> I don't know. I can't... Re I don't remember what happens. So I feel like maybe I haven't. So anyway, no. I'm excited to see it because what a cast. Yeah. And Do you remember the last one with Winona Ryder and... Oh, yeah. All the others. No. I, that was that was yeah, a great I movie. I loved I it. That one. Yeah, but I think mm. this cast will be brilliant. I mean, what a cast! Yeah. It can't, you know, yeah. it's a hit already. Yeah. yeah. Although Emma Watson's American accent did sound a little bit questionable in the trailer. Her American accent. Yeah, yeah they're American. American. So it's all American. I know, it's set in America. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't, this is I why I think I didn't oh, see I didn't it. Know that. Yeah, oh, I didn't know that. Oh, no, I must have done. Anyway, it's well, I'm reference. confusing it with the railway children. <laughs> not the same thing. No, I know, but that get off the line, Bobby. That is one of my favourite childhood adaptations. Mm. Any others that you love that are not the ones mentioned? I actually love the BBC series of Pride and Prejudice. So it's not not the film, but the one with like the Colin Firth, yeah. the mm. however many parts it was. It's like somewhere between a series and a, and a film, isn't it? But Wait, that was a BBC one. That wasn't yeah. a movie with yeah. Colin Firth. No, no, no. So Colin Firth played Mr. Darcy in. Uh, yeah, Mr. I was thinking, it's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, Mr. Darcy. Yeah, I guess he's a British show. I know. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I think that is, it's really true to the book and it's really, yeah, it's like word for mm. word the same. And it's and I think for a good adaptation, for an adaptation to work, it has to be like spot on. You can't start meddling, I think. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I think there's so many. I mean, To Kill a Mockingbird was amazing. <gasps> oh, Atticus. I, yeah, and mm. I just, I love that. I love that. I love, mm. love, the book. I love that gorgeous. book and gorgeous. that movie. Yeah. yeah, really gorgeous. Hey, boo. Um, and then... Sorry. Um, there's some others like... Um, what about like Sense and Sensibility? Yeah, Sense and Sensibility. So all, the, all the kind of old school ones. That, and it's, it's also the drama that comes with it and, you know, the clothes. Yeah, the costumes. Mm. The costumes are just... And the settings and the homes just... You, know, oh, you want to go back in and time. And also yeah. all that tight corsetry and heaving bosom. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. Emma, is yeah. what I always <laughs> think of as a... As, yeah, as like I love that. Like Outro yeah. and Emma. Yeah. yeah. There's loads. Yeah. Polly? What about... There's oh. loads of modern twists on old classics too. Yeah, I mean, I have to say, I, I'm not very well read when it comes to classics, so I probably have seen, like, a lot of films that are book adaptations, but I've just never... Oh, yeah. I feel like, yeah, hands up all too. of us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think we're all there. But, um, yeah, I think there's probably some modern classics. But I'd say, like, films like Shawshank Redemption, that's a book, wasn't it? Yeah. Fight Club. They're obviously like some of the best films ever made. Fight Club was a book? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's actually all yeah. really true. Yeah. Also, like childhood ones like um, The Little Princess. Mm. Oh, you know, my you God. You know, things like that. Those are all made. stories. To, yeah. Like, that's a gorgeous one, isn't it? I can't it? watch that. Oh! No, no. <laughs> let's not cry. Let's move yeah. on. <laughs> Something that might make us cry because it was so beautiful, which was Copenhagen Fashion Week. It happened last week. <laughs> it did not disappoint for spring summer 2020. You two can take away which was your favourite, which were the designers yeah. that we really should kind of focus on. We're not going to mention street style because they're coming up. We'll wait. Were that yeah, good. We'll exactly. Wait we'll hold off on the but street style. But it was style. that good. It was, yeah. I think we, the reason we like Copenhagen is because it's something a little bit different. So, you know, mm. obviously there's a tried and tested formula with the other four fashion weeks, which is great. And if it ain't broke, but it's nice to have a slightly more emerging one with, mm. some, with some newer names, I guess, rather than just yeah. kind of the old classics. And potentially some of them are more affordable names for us to actually... I think they are becoming less so. I think yeah. a, lot of, a lot of the names that were, that were big, like Agani, for example, mm. that were big names at um, Copenhagen, Hagen are slowly entering into that slightly more expensive territory. But the they outlet, they always have stuff. They do. They do. And there's yeah, also they some do. great copies on the high street. Yes, well, there always are. Do you feel like the high street copies a lot of the kind of Scandi brands now? Yeah, I think well, they because do. Like oversized blazers yeah. and all that stuff. The the that's part of 
part of the street yeah style. it's part of the street style thing as well but the Scandi girls and the Scandi designers are so influential mm. at the moment that's so the kind of aesthetic that everybody's after yeah. Um, but yeah yeah, it's definitely that's what's trickling down at the moment but it was mm. Cecily Banson wasn't it I that mean, was we like, have to talk about okay, so go on I mean yeah. we've all seen images there's a whole piece on the site but yeah, I mean, why it's not like drastically different to what she's done before but like it's incredible the big puff sleeves the kind of cloud like dresses that yeah like you said if it ain't broke like don't fix it mm. it's just it was so dreamy like soft pinks and blacks and whites it was just stunning it's almost like an engineering feat her yeah. like how it stays so light and frothy but wearable but big mm. they're like architectural aren't they uh, the only thing i'd say is obviously lots of it might not be that wearable day to day i mean Oh, Those I don't know if I agree. I mean, there's particularly what they send down the runway is is zhuzhi. I think we've mm. we had an image with you know, with what so, I don't even know what it is on the sleeves that like yeah. a lot of heavy <laughs> detailing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but actually, no, I don't. I don't agree. That shape it, with the big puff sleeves and the yeah. big skirt has been so replicated and it's really easy to wear. You know, just yeah. trainers or everyone, though? yeah. I, I actually think it does. Well, that's actually um, the point. I think if you are five foot ten, Scandi waif. Will it look wonderful if you're curvy and a bit shorter? Ooh. Will you feel like yeah. a marshmallow? No, I think I think mm. because it just it just masks everything, so it's fabulous mm. for everybody. It's yeah, yeah, I guess totally. Yeah, but you're a bit shorter. Just go for a shorter style. Yeah, or so wear a top, not a bottom. Yeah, like exactly. balance yeah. it out. Definitely. Yeah, I actually think it's really universal that that mm. kind of we're talking about tent dresses. Yeah, Mara, so, next yeah. week. I want yeah, to see yeah, you like, yeah, you like yeah. a dress exactly. <laughs> um, so and also uh, we were chatting yesterday about about the brands that really stand out, particularly at Fashion Week, are, are the brands who continue to do what they do so well. So mm. you know there are so many brands obviously who kind of reinvent themselves season after season and that that's great but you become a, a brand that people look forward to seeing at fashion mm. week and, and you get those column inches by mm. sticking to what you do so like yeah. chanel for example and by by doing what you do really well and cecily banson i think is the best yeah, example exactly. of that um, oh yeah, that's interesting that's so actually yeah. trying something new won't help you you can you can evolve yeah. it yeah. but um but so I think like, you know what to expect and it doesn't disappoint everyone. Exactly. Time. Valentino is another one. You know, mm. there, are, there are brands that you know to look out for, for for something great and they've set a precedent for mm. that. Yeah. Do you think Copenhagen now is like Paris, like Milan, like London? Like it's really mm. Well, it's on the map, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Exactly. So it really grown a lot in yeah. the last couple of years, I think. And people Is the front row seriously. there impressive always? Is, yeah. it, is it like that there? Is it a bit more relaxed? It's more street style than editorial. Okay. I think right. it draws, and I think it's probably also the time of year. You know, people, August is a kind of quiet time. Before, yeah. September. before September. Yeah. Yeah. So it doesn't draw the big editors yet because mm. they're all about to kick off that that mega yeah. time of year. Mm. But that doesn't mean that that won't change. Yeah, I definitely saw a few. Also, probably mm -hmm. good for the kind of younger up fashion, and coming, uh, up and coming fashion writers mm. to get there and get into it. Exactly. Yeah. So if you're looking to get into that industry, head to the Scandi places. <laughs> right. Moving on to an Uber Eats cravings report from the UK. Same, same, but quite different. Uh, it's been released. Talking about the most popular delivery requests in the UK and then request combos and unexpected food orders. There's loads. I'll just draw out a few. People order, this is number one, coffee, no onions. What? I don't understand that. Mm. And there are some things here that we can explain away, like <coughs> pizza, no mushrooms. You said... Well, you know, it might be the mushroom, pineapple, chorizo pizza, hold the mushroom. Mm -hmm. But onions, like no one puts coffee in onions in coffee. Yeah. No, must be that, that's, that must be a mistake. I'm confused about that. Um, anyway, a few others. Wings, flat wings only. What is a flat mean? wing? Oh, like you get the kind of like mini leggy looking wings, mm -hmm. or the one, they want they want like a meat. They want meat wing. on their wing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I mean, people. I get that. Say, yeah. If you're ordering wings, you don't want ones with with no meat on. This the one's fair enough. Avocado toast, no avocado. <laughs> well, yeah. I reckon you just can't order toast. That's my theory. That yeah. You can't order plain toast. I also toast. reckon people are lazy and like Fair it's right. like, should I go pop to the shop and get some bread or? Uh, I think you're right. No, hangover can be very bad sometimes. <laughs> you can't even bring yourself up. So if you were ordering, because I think this is more interesting, what is your go-to Uber Eats or Deliveroo or whatever order oh. or thing you order or type of food? I'd say sushi for me. Sushi. Yeah. Mm. You guys are too healthy, man. Like, this is not the time to order. No, we like the variety. <laughs> Come on. I, but I think you've got to order things that you can't otherwise make yourself. That's kind of a good rule. Yeah, yeah. Sushi. Sushi. yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, that's what good. I mean. But you're so not going to order like pasta and cheese, exactly. probably, because yeah. 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 you can make that. But I, I would probably go for like, if I was trying to be better, I'd go for like a pad thai. Yeah, but then, a thai. Use like a wagon. Pure filth, I would obviously go for a pizza or like a burger. Hangover. Yeah, yeah, or hangover. Just say it. 
Just say McDonald's. Yeah, fine. Right. <laughs> right. Hey, it's Love revolutionary it. that they del- it, it can be delivered, yeah, you know, so right. take it. I say. Um, Charlotte? Um, yeah, no, I think sushi. I think sushi. I like a Chinese, but like a nice Chinese, not like a... I just can't... If I eat like a grubby Chinese, I just get the weirdest dreams. So I just like, can't do it anymore. <laughs> That's the MSG. Yeah, it's MSG, it exactly. So, so only, only a nice one. But yeah, sushi for me. What about you? Um, yeah, sushi, cause, again, because it's like hard to... And sometimes some restaurants you can't order direct anymore, but also mm. Indian. But I think I go direct to my restaurant. I Indian. do too. They're Indian. a bit more old school mm. still, mm-hmm. like... They're still happy to bring them. it. Yeah. Mm. And they're like, oh, all I'm right, sure. Madras coming up. <laughs> <laughs> um, that wasn't chips the most ordered thing? Chips, add salt and vinegar. But that's the most ordered thing on Uber Eats. Apparently. Fascinating. Popular. It just says popular food and request combos. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm. we don't know, actually. Okay. But waffles um, with burger sauce is the most unexpected. I mean, that turns my stomach. What is burger sauce? Chips, add strawberries. What was with people? They're just weird. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. Courtney Cox, speaking of weird, uh, was spotted using a jade roller in a restaurant. Now, that is that lovely beauty thing that you will have seen all over Sheer Lux, I'm sure. Um, what is that for? Drainage and boosting? Everything, and... yeah. It stimulates your circulation, gets everything moving, it promotes anti-aging, etc. But it's not something you take out. Well, to be <laughs> fair, with all those wonderful benefits, why wouldn't you do it in a restaurant if you've do got a bit down time? I do use one, but at home... In How front often? of a mirror or in yeah. front of the TV or something. How often do you use one? Uh, probably about three times a week. Really? Oh, is yeah. it akin to like cleansing at a restaurant? It's, no, it's, it's just bizarre. The whole <laughs> thing, it's the last thing you would put in your handbag. Mm. Is it more like filing your nails? Because it's like something you could do on the go, but you just really wouldn't. I think it's, it's a bit that. rude. Yeah, yeah probably. Is but I think rude? it's just, I don't think it's rude. It's bizarre. The whole thing just taking out a roller and then suddenly just doing all these massage like, techniques and just like... Okay, also, so, hang on, sorry. Yeah. I'm a really big fan of Courtney Cox, but I don't think there's much natural left on her face. Like, doesn't she pay to <laughs> have quite... It. Like, I'm not sure that this is going to do she's much when it's basically yeah. plastic. Let's give it to her. She might want to... It's quite popped out. She also might want to, like, I don't know, move filler around. Maybe, <laughs> maybe she's <laughs> redistributing <laughs> her filler. Maybe, maybe that was it. It was like, yeah. uh-oh, my one cheekbone's a bit full. Oh, it's full thing. Okay. Harsh. That's really rude. I love her. I think she's fabulous. I just don't understand why you would do that. I mean, I have I have seen some bizarre things like on the train. Oh, like oh, what? Yeah, yeah like but train time them. is Floss- like oh, that's wait, disgusting. someone flossing. Oh, that is in really, really gross. What about painting nails on aer- aer- yeah. aer- aeroplanes <laughs> oh, or trains? Like that is toxic yeah. fumes for everyone I to breathe in. I also do in. think like hats off if you can do it on a like moving <laughs> transport. Like I'll be like fair play, hun. Like well, yeah, yeah, yeah. flossing <laughs> stick is very flossing easy. Stick. No, but that's great. <laughs> Sorry, oh, yeah, that's, that's great. great. Watching people do their makeup and everything quite fascinating. Actually, I'm always mm. interested in what they've got. And what, how I love use watching it, other people an do application. Makeup. But something like a roller, just I, I don't know. Was it attention? Was it for? Uh, what, I just for? think she's a busy lady. You claim not so, but she's a busy <laughs> celeb. <laughs> People were standing up and maybe they'd order, maybe they were finished, maybe they were waiting, maybe a, a cab was delayed and she was like, Do you know what? I'm gonna it's take in my bag. My I've got to tell you, she is my she is one of my favourite people to follow on Instagram, but I think the woman has plenty of time on her hands. I'm not <laughs> sure that she that, that's that's the vibe I get from her Insta anyway. But do follow her by the way if you don't, because she is absolutely I will. Mm. She sounds hilarious. Mm. Did she met did she mention roll rolling? I don't think she's responded to this yet. No, I'll keep an eye out. It'll come. It will. You'll let us know. <laughs> All right, thanks everyone. Next up though, it is style watch, so don't go anywhere. Hi, I'm Lou Huff. I'm Head of Fashion and Creative at Sheer Lux, and today I'm going to talk you through some of my favourite and key pieces within my wardrobe. Number one would be a very classic boyfriend shirt. When I'm getting ready, I want to wear pieces that make me feel good. They enhance my style, they don't take over my look. I couldn't talk about my wardrobe favorites without talking about this. So any opportunity I have to really dress up, I would wear this. The absolute basic essential to my wardrobe would be denim. I counted, I've got 25 pairs. This, just with t-shirt and jeans, pair of boots, my bag good to go. Like the rest of my style, I tend to keep my accessories quite minimal, um, but if I was going for a jazzy accessory, I've got this hair clip, which is probably so on me, but um, I just think it adds a little something to a look. On days when you've got nothing to wear and you want to wear, wear something pretty boring, these are my go-to.
Style Watch is back, the segment where we talk you through the best fashion of the week so far. Um, and we are going to be talking about everybody from influencers to celebrities today. So let's get going straight away with Kate Blanchett, who is on a press tour currently promoting a movie. And she's looking good, isn't she? She's she does look good. She probably has a stylist. Is that harsh? Uh, no, doesn't matter. She still looks good. Yeah. She can still take can. the accolades yeah. for yeah. this. Yeah. 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 Whoever, whoever's dressing her, she looks great. Sweet. Yeah. And she does. Um, so let's start by looking at um, her hot pink Stella McCartney number. Mm. I mean, that's that's cool, right? Super cool. Yeah. Hot pink great. is hard to pull off or not, do you think? Does it suit all skin tones? I yeah, think, I think so. Yeah, it does suit. It's I mean, bright guess, enough that it kind of... Yeah, yeah exactly, okay. right, exactly. Head to toe, though, I think maybe it can be quite tricky, but she just, yeah, she nails it, I think. Just, she? I think you just have to have the confidence to put yeah, it off. like so, everything. Yeah, exactly, like mm. everything. And actually, I think tailoring is almost the easiest way to do it, because mm. at least you're not then going to be faffing. With, I don't know, it's just kind of simple. I actually yeah. have a hot pink Zara suit from last year. There you oh, go. Take inspiration from Kate Blanchett as some white trainers. Mm. I think that's very chic. Yeah. Um, so, as we said, it is Stella McCartney, um, but you can get the look at and other stories. Similar yeah. vibes. Um, next up, she was spotted wearing fabulous, you know, talk about Cecily Banson and big sleeves. It's a little like that, isn't it? Mm. Um, this blouse with high waisted trousers. Um, so, interestingly, it's a wide palazzo or yes. whatever. So, that's fine, big and big. You have yeah. to just balance out the proportions by having a cinched waist of some kind. So either mm. you've got the big dress, like those big tenty style dresses, and then hopefully you've got a bit of leg showing. Little up the leg. Yeah, little leg. Um, and then if you're going to go for the big shoulder and trousers, then you need the cinched waist just right. to create yeah. that kind of well, so that's a silhouette. Style tip with that. Yeah. Yeah. And a heel waist. will always help as well, won't it? Yeah, just definitely. More feminine. Just being tall help or no as long as you cinch it in it should be fine yeah if anything this is a really elongating outfit because the trousers mm. are long and she's got the great heels and they're gonna sit nice and high waist so i reckon this is making her legs look a lot longer than they actually are in real yeah life. and i bet they're like up to her eyeballs anyway so. probably mm. are yeah. um so you can get a similar look at mango as well so there's a lot actually you found some really nice blouses that were yeah. quite big doppelgangers of this yeah you? definitely there's a lot out there at the moment that are kind of puffy and silky and oh, just lovely so yeah yeah yeah, yeah she's great um okay the third look is well, it's not dissimilar, actually, is it? Another another sleek top um, mm. with some black tapered trousers and um, some great court shoes. Do you guys still wear a classic pair of courts like that? I think at the moment, especially with summer, it was all that kind of strappy, strappy sandal, yeah. not too high. But you're always going to go back to them. Mm -hmm. They're so chic. Yeah. And also, um, when you need that extra kind of power confidence boost, the height does help with that. Because mm. yes. a, a, mid, a midi doesn't do it the same way. No, no, no. It needs to be a stiletto. Yeah. Well, so, good, uh, I want to ask where the best high street, because obviously we know the, the... Although, would you also suggest investing, potentially? Yeah, I mean, I think so. I think, you know, like a, a court like that, you are going to wear it forever. So if you're going to invest a bit more money, then that I think it's kind thing. of warranted. Mm -hmm. But equally, you can get some great ones on the high street. Mm -hmm. So Dune, for example, we've got one coming up. They do some great ones, and it's only like 50 quid. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, equally... You can, can you get comfortable versions? I was going to say, I reckon, like June, I think, I haven't personally tried the ones that we've got, but I think June do great comfortable mm, heels. So, yeah. so definitely have a look at them in terms of John Lewis as well, places you know do good quality affordable yeah. heels. Um, but I think you can't really deny the, the, the comfort that you get with, yeah. a, with a more expensive pair. Gen Vito Rossi, I have a pair or two. So comfortable. Mm -hmm. Like really worth the investment. Yeah. Mm. The only thing is I got a nude pair battered already. That's the problem. I reckon you can take them back to be... Or They'll definitely spruce them up for you. Yeah, like yeah. the heels, you know, when they get a bit scuffy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just think the biggest thing is to look out for a point. It needs a good point. Round toe courts. Not, not the one. one. Nish. Nope. Um, okay, let's move on. Mm. Uh, we're going to look at some street style, some influences now. Uh, Laura Wills is, of course, featuring in Obvi. this incredible hot pink mm. Alessandra Rich dress styled with hot pink... Um, Manola Barnett nice, shoes yeah. and a hot pink pram to boot. Mm. I mean, it? she's always accessorised to the tinier detail. Yeah, she likes an accessory. Um, what do we think about pink on pink on pink? I think if you're Laura, you can definitely pull it off. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, I think it's a confidence. She yeah, just, I was going to say, because yeah. what does that mean? It's not, it's not because of the way she looks Yeah, she's not mixing crazy colours. No. It's mm. one tone of colour, but she just wears clothes so well yeah. that she's a clothes horse. She was built yeah. for clothing. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like it looks fantastic. Practically, I don't know. <laughs> no. okay. it's, not, it's not a Tuesday lunchtime outfit. <laughs> it's it's me. Let's give her the benefit of the doubt. She might have been going somewhere fabulous. Yeah. Polly, how do you think, what's, what is working about this? Why, why with all that colour, why does it work? Well, I think for me, that my favourite part of it is the kind of drapey shoulder vibe that she's got going on. That gives it just a bit of an edge. I think mm -hmm. otherwise it might be a bit twee. So right. Like a, 
Hedge toe pink just can be a bit over the top, but yeah, that shoulder, a little bit of cinched in waist, and that, that drapey sort of satin mm. fabric is, is just makes it feel more luxe, I think. That's Alexandra so Rich is stunning, her, yeah. mm. her dresses. They're very elegant and late. They're not yes. so show skin, mm. but they look so feminine and pretty. But yeah. I think Holly's right that because they've got the high neck, the satin finish, and the sleeve, that gives it mm. that is a bit cooler yeah than just um, something it's not like floaty or ruffly or mm. where can you get something similar though um we had a look goes it's hard to get that exact style course, it's mm. th that's kind of the reason it's so good is because the design is so amazing um, yeah. but ghosts do some gorgeous pink dresses they do so yeah. um yeah if you're trying to kind of get the look in general then pink has come ghost. up a lot has. is that around a lot then at the moment i think it's just always a, around yeah oh, it's now it? just a bit of a perennial like yeah. okay yeah so just, if you like pink because people used to shy away from yeah. that pink, but is it back and, and you can toughen it up if you want yeah. to? I think if you want to do colour, pink is the first obvious choice, mm. uh, aside from red these days. Yeah, I pink think. and red are like the two obvious ones yeah. that are universally flattering, I yeah. guess, for most people. Okay, that's like a green or a yellow yeah, or something. Exactly. I think pink and red are the ones to stick to mm. if you are going to dabble in colour. Mm. Um, okay, speaking Monique, of pink. Monique, though, green. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But Monique is just queen. She can do oh, what she likes. Green. That's green. Um, <laughs> okay, <laughs> look five. We're going to talk about um, Grease Ganem, who is an influencer we love. Obviously, she is a little more grown up than others, which is why, which, I mean, it makes what she wears even more amazing. Please go by all of us at 60. Correct. Oh or whatever. I mean, yeah. She just looks so cool all the time. And, and time. I don't think, correct me if you think I'm wrong, that she is is changing things up because of her being a little bit older. I think she mm. just wears whatever she wants to wear. I also get the sense that the clothes she picks, just a comfort, like they lend themselves to living life. Yeah. I mean, mm. that's not like, oh, how do I navigate my day-to-day -day life? That yeah. is easy to wear, but she just looks so chic. Yeah, yeah she so does. true, so yeah. true. Polly, how do you feel about the trainers? I mean, I am not always a huge fan of a chunky trainer, but she is amazing mm -hmm. and I think she can pull them off and the fact that she's gone for quite a slouchy, like, masculine look, I think it really works, but then she's made it more feminine with the kind of pink shirt mm -hmm. and stuff. I think it all kind of balances it out as a look as a whole, so... Where, the, I mean, her placement of, like, baggy... It, the trouser doesn't drag, but mm -hmm. it hangs so nicely. Mm -hmm. Where do you think one could find trousers that are kind of... Chill but tailored, but there are so many around so like that. Yeah, yeah. That's quite, it's quite kind of commonplace these days as well. Mm. It's things like the Frankie Shop, like those kind of utility brands, have really yeah. risen that to prominence a bit. Mm. Um, I think that the reason that she pulls it off, I think a lot of petite people as well are scared to go oversized, and this is a clever way of doing it. going oversized in your bottom half mm. is a really clever way to do that. So, I mean, Zara, I have trousers like that. It's kind of yeah. like the balloon style, like there's so many around. Okay, good. So, if um, you want to emulate, this should not be hard. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, what I'm wearing I today is kind of, I mean, I've got them rolled up, Similar but they're even. Yeah, similar vibes. So just any kind of unstructured pair of, of suit-style trousers mm, and will work. Yeah. And um, and yeah, and just and just go bigger on bottom with something a bit more fitted on top. Mm. Also, easy cross-body bag, just chill. Yeah. So you're yeah. not lumbered down no. by stuff. Mm. Very cool sunnies. Cool sunnies, another good hack. If you are slightly more mature, you're not sure if some of the trends, you know, you're confident enough to wear them, then go for a, a trendy pair of sunnies like that. Yeah. Um, okay, fine. Let's move on um, to Paulienne Riemis, who is another blogger, street style star. This is mm. just this is just the perfect height balance, mean, isn't it? Yeah. Chic on chic, mm -hmm. but so chill. But yeah. is what, she? What works about it? Oh God, everything. Like the way she's got quite a chilled outfit under underneath, so like the jeans and the t-shirt. But then she's just kind of elevated it with this like undone dress. It's a maxi, and then the headband. Obviously, just like offsets everything, doesn't it? It's mm. like drama but so chill. Yeah. yeah. Adding jeans and a white t-shirt can basically make any dress or jacket mm. like the, per the perfect balance. It's like, if you want to look amazing, but you're not quite sure if you have the confidence, whip it on and that can always come off and you can be back in your mm. comfort zone. Exactly right. It's so scandy, isn't it? That yeah. Kind of the only thing so I true. would say is sometimes it's even hard to find just a good jean t-shirt combo type, yeah. you know? Yeah. Let's so, go to a whole other thing. But a skinny jean here, is that? Or a straighter yeah, a straight leg. I wouldn't wear a skinny because that's no. kind of stepping back a bit. Okay, like, so what's, is that, I can't even it's see just a straight. It's a straight. Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. But not too balloony or big at the Correct. bottom. It needs no. to be streamlined. Exactly. Yeah. You need your underneath bit to be kind of, yeah, pretty straight and streamlined and then you can go a bit more elaborate on yeah. top. Um, we've obviously put quite an expensive dress um, in our edit to show with this, but actually I was thinking you could do this with like a sleeper style dress. Yeah. Because anything that basically unbuttons all yeah. the way down. Or a great shirt dress that you can roll up the seat. Exactly, mm. exactly. We'll work over the top. Um, and then we've got a great uh, headband jeep actually from ASOS, which is just, Looks just like the Prada one, just it? like the Prada one. My only see. issue still is that I still feel like a big 
in a headband. It's not for everyone. I try it so hard. Is, is it confident? So well, well, I also think yeah. it's your ear placement. Or, <laughs> or I have small ears, but when I put that on, it's like, hi, yeah. Your hair also needs to be able to behave with it as well. So, yeah. for example, some people yes. can, like, if you've got curlier hair, you can push it back and your hair will stay. For me, I kind of get like this really no, bad. I like, disagree with you. Mm. Too heavy. It's pushing the whole time there. <laughs> you know what? This is a beauty question. Becky can answer this Becky. at some point. So <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that one to her. Okay, finally, uh, not finally, next up, we're going to look at Nina Sandbeck in uh, the best jacket I've ever seen. I tried this on mm. behind the scenes. Oh, is that chic? Oh, it's amazing. The sleeves, the cinch waist, everything. Is this proof that um, there is a stylish way to pull off cycling shorts? She's great though, isn't she, Nina? I think she could literally pull off anything, but... I can't, I don't know, I'm like tempted to try them yeah. now. I, I don't think I just, not disagree, I, like I agree with you about her, but I don't think that people should be put off because it's like, well, she just looks great in anything. Yeah. I actually think this is an outfit that is super flattering on a lot of, a lot yeah, of like, body shapes. I think if you like yourself in shorts and things, yes, I still think this is quite out, like you're going to get looks down the height the, as you're walking down yeah. the street. No. It's no. not, and it, this is a confidence look as well. Mm. You've got to, you know, but then we've seen in the past with a big blazer and a t-shirt, exactly. you can chill out. This blazer in itself or jacket is like, whoa. Yeah, you know? I mean, I have to say, if I, if I was styling, I mean, I'm obsessed with this coat, it is incredible, but if, I would probably wear it with something more toned down on bottom, I'd probably mm. wear like a blue jean or a blue But she's a fashion skinny. week, she's looking yeah. to get yeah. noticed here. Exactly yeah. right, and I just think, um, fabulous. Are there any dupes of that jacket or similar or anything? <sighs> there's there's not. Really not, there's not. There's. What you can do is find, is get a jacket, like a jacket maybe that's got a more structured sleeve and belt it. And yes. that will probably yeah. get you there. And there will be, there will be, because mm. this has been such Watch a big load. Watch this space. I reckon you two yeah. will be on the hunt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll let you know as soon <laughs> as we find one. Um, but the shoes are easy to find a dupe for. Yes, there's yeah, those great definitely. white sandals that we looked at on Debit Credit mm -hmm. um, a few weeks ago, um, so they're easy. Okay, let's move on to number eight. Uh, this is an unnamed street star star wearing... There's this, I love things like this that are just so comfy and casual and easy to replicate, but still mm. look so chic. Yeah. She looks amazing. Yeah. yeah. And she looks like she threw it on in a second. I know. Yeah, very ethereal, isn't it? Kind of oh, the way the light flowy. shines at the back. Yeah. It's just yeah. beautiful. But because it's, it's a shirt, like you can tell it's kind of buttoned down and it's got mm. cuffs, it looks a bit, it's not like, it stops itself from teetering too far into girly yeah, yeah, territory. Yeah, yeah. Also, you, know? you can see her form. So, because sometimes with oversize, if it's too opaque. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You're like, what's going on under there? But the way she moves, you would see like yes, her body very move. True. It's quite lovely. Very yeah. true. Uh, well, that one was from Joseph, um, but there is a weekday, a weekday dupe. And again, it's, there's not too much accessorizing going on here. So you know, you just add like a, a straw bag and some strappy sandals, yeah. and, and it's easy to replicate. If you haven't yet got a strappy sandal. Yeah. I mean, it really lagging. goes with absolutely everything. <laughs> they, they are my most worn shoes. And stuff. Yeah. We, we talked about this before. They yeah. are the best <laughs> shoes, so they definitely do. Um, okay, we're going to look at Baba C. Rivera now wearing head-to-toe orange. Olivia, you were asking about colour before. I think this is this is one for the brave. Yeah, I think orange really works with kind of dark hair and more tan skin, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, I, and also, you know, that confidence with a tan, just because mm, yeah. you're like, you don't see as much. Yes. I mean, midwinter, maybe shy away from this. Definitely. But summer glow. Yeah. Mm, You've got to have, yeah, and not fake tan because, you know, then it's just orange on orange, isn't it? So, <laughs> I can't see her makeup <laughs> here, but I imagine it's paired. I imagine there's not much going yeah. on. Yeah, there. and she's also, she, yeah. yeah, she is very dark skinned, so, so it's a colour that really looks amazing on her. Um, but yeah, perhaps not for the fake hearted, but how cool to see somebody mm. just, she, again, she looks so casual, so comfortable, but. But, in such but a also, a suit like that, which again, it's a relaxed trouser, mm -hmm. a nicely oversized but fitted jacket. It's like, it's so chill. Exactly. It's just the colour, really. Like, if it was black, you, you wouldn't, wouldn't even, you would just feel like, you look cool, mm. really chic and move on. Exactly. But she's like, wow, but you still look cool and chill. Yeah. So, so maybe cool. that's where the pink thing comes in again, because it's like, if you don't want to go as far as she went, but you still want to make a statement. Pink. So, High Street. And other stories you mentioned before, is that? Mm. Orange was hard, yeah. right? We did search, but orange colour. was hard. But if you colour. do all yeah. in one, just yeah. go for yeah, it yeah, yeah. everywhere. And there's so many colour suits mm. around at the moment, okay, so, so not hard to find. Okay, finally, we're gonna look at, what's her name? Nisi. Nisi, that's it. Um, <laughs> and Shiki. Shiki, Shiki, Shiki Nisi. <laughs> Shiki Nisi. Um, who is wearing a white slip dress with an, a very oversized oh, leather so shirt. Cool. She's so cool. She is so and she's cool, wearing her shoes. She? Oh yeah, she's wearing the same shoes as you, yeah. there you go. Um, oh, that's why she's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, but isn't she really pulling off that leather shirt trend? Very much so, yeah. But that is the way to do it. Yes. Yeah. It's so relaxed and chill and oversized, but fitted, but 
it doesn't look too big and because sometimes they're so boxy yeah. and big but this mm. the length is so elegant i yeah. think it's because she's wearing it as a jacket as well so mm. for people who aren't sure about leather, leather shirts you have to treat it more like a layering piece yeah. than, than like a, a shirt yeah. yeah i think so the length of that one's so it's brilliant. very cool it yeah. is really, really cool i mean we couldn't find one that was exactly Long. that length but going for a kind of more oversized look and then just pairing it back with a simple, quite feminine dress that just balances each other out. I yeah. think they're super cool. I think that should be easy-ish to emulate. Definitely, really. yeah, slip really dress, easy. mules, leather shirt, mm -hmm. and H&M oh, have got a really good, cheap one at the moment. Yes, they do. Yeah. Okay. Good tips. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Yeah, As I usual. Did. Oh, good. Sorry. I'm so pleased you did. <laughs> um, everything will, of course, be linked in the show notes below. Don't go away. Olivia is going to be talking travel beauty next. Hello, and welcome to the pink house. Come on in. Let me show you around. Now we all know how difficult it can be to ration out your makeup for airport security. So whether you're going on a weekend away or a short haul flight, you do not have to slim down your essentials as much as you think. And luckily our pro beauty makeup artist MJ is here to help us kind of condense and pack our suitcases cleverly with Absolutely. the best beauty bits. So let's start with all the liquids. Now we're using this fabulous, <laughs> very chic sandwich bag. Brand. <laughs> this is basically what you would use, you know. Yeah. So mm -hmm. let's see what you've got to go in it. Let's start with your liquid. balance me, yeah, liquid. Great. So yeah, I've tried to minimize the liquids as much as possible and go for more solid. So this section should be quite small. Great. So the balance me uh, we've started with, which is a hyaluronic plumping mist, which is really good for instant hydration. Yeah, so really? if you're hot throughout the day, quick spritz, and it should just spruce you up and make you feel nice and fresh, but also really hydrating. Great. So cleanse first like in the morning after washing your face yeah. and at night after a wash you want to yeah. hydrate put this on but also throughout the day if you're oh, just right. a bit hot and oh this yeah. is a triple freshen up great <laughs> and then Let's if you fancy in. something a little bit heavier this is my favorite moisturizer of all time it's the lion's leaf big beauty balm um, and this is actually a sample size so i think it's one pound ninety one ninety nine yeah so yeah cheap so cheap and I mean it's so small so you Tiny. can fit in a few if you fancy quite a lot but it goes a long way right can um, I try it yeah of course yeah so oh my gosh that is gorgeous that's so like nice. butter yeah okay so this body, how would you butter. use this right so as an extra moisturizer on top of the hyaluronic mist yes yeah, so you can use it just as like a daily moisturizer um, or a night moisturiser, but I also love it as a primer for makeup, so it just makes makeup look really nice and dewy on oh, skin. I need it's, one of these, one ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Pop it <laughs> or in the a leg. lip balm or an eye gloss, or you can use it on the ends of your hair, just if they're dry cuticles, exactly. elbows, all the stuff. Yeah. Okay, great. Going yeah. in. Yeah. Next up. So next we have this is my favourite uh, face SPF by the Body Shop. Is it Skin Defense SPF thirty, um, and. I don't, know, I don't know about you, but I find it a bit of a faff to be putting cream on and then a primer and then a, mo then a moisturizer, sorry, then a foundation. Yes. Whereas with a spray, you can just look flawless, turn yourself into a At goddess. At what stage do you put that on? At the very end. After makeup? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Good to know because yeah. I find that the trickiest bit of all. When do you put yeah. that? Would, so, day to day as well, forget travel, this is a useful Definitely, one to have. Yeah. Okay, that's nice and small. It's only, I can't even see, but. 30 mils? 60. So, okay. that should last you a good week 
Easy. Definitely, I mean, yeah. and the rest. <laughs> yeah. All right. I think I've had mine for about eight months now, and I use it. Oh every right. Day. How many spritzes so, do you do on yourself? How long is your holiday? <laughs> A month, no. <laughs> um, how long, how long, uh, how many spritzes should you do? Probably like four. Properly cover yeah. your face in this. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm, I'm thrilled by this. I'm going to get one immediately it's for really on top of makeup. Because I can't yeah. bear the clogginess before you've even started. Mm. Yeah. All right, great. And it's also quite good just to spray over your shoulders and even if you do forget the sun cream everywhere. Keep that in your handbag always. Definitely, yeah. Okay. And then a lip balm, which is the Lippy Balm by Drunk Elephant. Big favourite. I don't know many makeup artists that don't have this in their kit. I know this is, um, well, it's lovely and small. So, yeah. again, for your travel or if you have, like, a little travel wallet, this is perfect yeah. um, to fit in. No SPF in this, so this isn't for the sun, but this is for flights, nighttime, mm. morning. Just slather it on. Absolutely. But protect your lips, too, because they burn and that sucks. <laughs> All right, going in. What else? Okay, so there's quite a lot of minis on the market. Kat Von D has got a few. This is a tattoo liner. It's also waterproof. Obviously, if you're going in the sea or in the pool, it will stay put. So an eye, a waterproof eyeliner. And it does really stay put. I feel like a lot of them... To the point where we won't it. get this off ever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, exactly. That's why it says tattoo. <laughs> and um, she's also got a really good miniature um, Go Hard or Go Home mascara. Okay. Have you tried that one? No, but is that also waterproof? Yeah. So oh, no, sorry, it's not. There is a waterproof version. Right, so that's also good if you... I mean, I yeah. find, though... With the pool, like, I'm scared of mascara because it might just oh, yeah. drip everywhere. But that's why I like the LDL, whatever it's called. LVL. LVL yeah, lash lift. Like yeah, it's great. It's amazing, yeah. Your lashes are gorge. Anyway, Thank right, you. moving on. So, foundation. Yes. I've got three options here. The Ordinary, that's actually their standard size foundation. Useful, okay. But it's tiny. And you like that foundation as a foundation? I love it. I've got it on now. No, it's flawless. Yes. Why do you like it so much? Um, this is the full coverage foundation. It just goes on so beautifully, really good coverage, but it doesn't look like you've got much on. Okay, I'm it's just really going to nice. it on my hand. Yeah, and there's also a serum version of that too. Of the foundation? Yeah. Oh, that is nice and it spreads nice. So do you yeah. wear a lot of foundation at night on holiday? Do you still like something on? Yeah. Especially for a city break as well or something and you're going out yeah. in the, you know, I guess. Mm. But sometimes it's, I find it's nice to give my skin a break from the heavy yeah. stuff. But if you say it's not that heavy, then perfect. I think maybe the serum will be good for you then because it gives a little bit of coverage, but it's, it sort of feels like skincare. Lovely. Okay. So, yeah. Ordinary. And then the classic hourglass, um, um, is it ambient light? Ambient light. I don't know, but a stick foundation, foundation I've never used. Exactly. Yeah. But this still should go in your liquids, do you feel? So, what I found online, it's really mm. tricky because all airports are different, I but know. the generic thing that seems to be um, the same in all airports is that anything more creamy, so like cream foundations, even if it's in a stick, or lipsticks, or anything just creamy, yeah, so nice, that, that has to go in liquids, whereas if it's a balm, it generally is okay. And if you're going from a London airport, they're really high feed. But if you go yeah. anywhere else, they're a bit like, meh, come on through with your big yeah. bottle of water, no problem. <laughs> exactly, Okay, yeah. fine. But that's lovely. Yeah. And then also just um, the little pots from Boots, I think that was £1.90. So de decant. Exactly. If in doubt, decant. Yeah. Yeah, if you've got a foundation that you just love and you can't be without. Oh, but I always oh, yeah. get really like, did I take enough? Afterwards, you're still using up dregs. Yeah. But let's be honest. It's essential. And that's quite big, anyway. Yeah. A few minutes. Yeah, that is it. <laughs> you know how much coverage yeah. I need. Okay, and finally. Um, so, perfume. We have yes. got a solid perfume, which I'll talk about in a minute. But this is um, a decanting perfume spray. Spritz. Perfume. Spritz, yeah. From Amazon. Um, I think they were £7 for four. I don't know why you'd need four, but... Or one in a bag, one in a thing. Yeah, yeah okay, exactly. fine. Or different perfumes. Yes, true, that too. Yeah. <laughs> Or I guess if you like anything that's really liquid and you don't need a lot, you it's could do can. yeah. Okay, and that looks lovely and yeah. really discreet. It does, isn't it? <laughs> Again, I'm sorry to be yeah, such yeah. a bore, but I don't even use um, perfume on holiday because of mosquitoes. I was thinking I will point. draw the mosquitoes. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. It's just my own uh, thing. Right, that is your... That's the whole bag. Look. That is all your liquids. And look, plenty of room in there for yeah. hand sanitizer, gels, whatever else exactly. you want. Exactly. Perfect, love that. You're not busting at the seams no. either. Brilliant. But it's good also to leave a bit more space just in case anything doesn't fit through. That's a tip. But let's hope not. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the solids, as it were, or the balms or out-of-bag hacks that you found to help yeah. us for packing. So I've tried to go waterless wherever possible. Okay. Um, and also it's better for the environment. 
So a lot of brands are kind of going Yeah, and it's important. Brands. We've got to make the effort here. Exactly. So this little number here is the Mysol stick. Um, and this is actually for the body. Uh, it's a sun cream, this. This is a sun cream, SPF 50. Wow. So you can use the other body shop spray on your body, but it is designed for face. Okay. This is for face and body. Great. So it comes as like an actual hard... Balm. Yeah, like a balm. It's almost like an oily balm. And I mean, it smells amazing, doesn't it? Oh, oh. I, I would eat perfume. that. Wait, that's like you that sugary perfume? butter. That's literally <laughs> butter icing. I don't know how it is with mosquitoes. <laughs> yeah, they're like, mm, yum. Yeah, you'll be safe from the sun, but you'll be covered in mosquito <laughs> bites. That is really gorgeous. That and it spreads spread. quite well. Yeah, harder to see application. Like, it's not like a cream that you can visibly see, yeah. but you can feel. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder how much is in here for it to last, but hey, maybe take a couple. Yeah, maybe. Just to be sure. You could even maybe chop off the end and warm it up and then use it in your palm to like really rub. Wow. <laughs> I'm not going to turn it all up, but it feels like a heavy solid stick. Um, mm -hmm. Where do you get this? Um, I think you can get it from Cult Beauty. Oh yeah, fine. Okay. A few online stores, yeah. yes. Do you like Have this brand Google. generally? Yeah, I've just discovered them actually. Right, okay. They've got like lots of really nice um, body sprays, like glittery body sprays and stuff. So Okay, lovely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Check them out. Okay, so that's that. Yeah. Uh, what's this little bad boy? Um, so these are solid perfumes. Oh, right. So this is, oh, sorry. Even though it's called Sun, the, yeah. the name of it is Sun and it's a solid perfume. Mm hmm. And that's from Lush. So they've got, I think, about mm, fresh, lovely. 20 different scents. Mm. All right. Would you wear that on holiday? I just don't. I just don't do it. But yes, that's yeah. easy at least, and you're not carrying this big glass bottle. So yeah. yes, that's easy. Easy things I like. I'm all about these. Yeah. Um, okay, we should crack on. You've got so much brilliant stuff. Here. <laughs> what are these, and what's their function? So this, these are face cleansers. They're called the Face Halo. You don't need any cleanser with this. Oh, dream. Good it's, for the environment. Good for my packing. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I find I found that quite hard to believe that you don't need any cleanser. Yes, but. You just need to try it. Really? Obviously it takes really? off everything. And what? Water? Yeah, obviously. you literally just um, put warm water on it and kind of just massage your face to get all the makeup off. And then if you kind of hold it on your eyes for like 20 seconds, pull it away and it's almost what all gone. What is this magic? It is what magic. is this magic? <laughs> okay, brilliant. This I'm excited about because we do like drunk elephants. Yes. And this looks cute, so what's this? So if you do fancy a cleanser, this is a little duo. Um, okay. If you open it up, there's What a cute two. little bag, so cute, isn't it? I went to Millie's and cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so inside there's two little bars mm -hmm. of soap. Good old fashioned yeah. cleansing balm soap though. Yeah. I think one's more of an exfoliator right. and one's more of like an oil based. Lovely. Oh, so and that's really easy to transport and yeah. again, it doesn't take up space. And also the bag's just so cute. Can Lovely keep to keep, yeah, them. little earrings in or something afterwards, yeah. if, like little studs. Okay, yeah. like that very, very much. I use this. Yeah. This lasts for Well, yeah, because it's small and yeah. I just thought, well, eucalyptus. Yeah. I, in my head, it was a lot more natural than it is. Maybe it's the packaging, but it still seems yeah. good. But also deodorant, if you go for like completely natural, I think it's quite hard. It doesn't work. do anything. I've, yeah. I've tried them all. It yeah. doesn't really work. So you need a little bit and this is great. Yeah. And it's eucalyptus, so it's quite fresh. My and only advice tiny. is, don't put on straight after like shaving or anything. Mm, but stingy. lovely. This is like a mini, but well, you can use it at home all the time. It's yeah. not that mini. Okay. The, the, a bigger size for that, the original is literally like five times the size. So that is really useful. <laughs> yeah, like, tiny. Yeah. I mean, how smelly do you think I am? <laughs> what are these magical little pellets? They're so cool. So they are, the, one is a lipstick, sorry, lipstick. One is a tooth toothpaste. Right. And one is a mouthwash. Okay. So you just pop the toothbrush tablet in your mouth, kind of foam it up. So it turns into toothpaste. Yeah. You don't just chew it and that's it. You still use your toothbrush. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. okay. And then the mouthwash. Same thing. So you kind of swill it around your mouth and it will foam up. And then you spit it out. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. And again, love that for um, not mm. needing to carry a big tube or a big pumpy yeah. toothpaste. Exactly. And they're really good, actually. You do feel genuinely clean afterwards. More bars of soap. <laughs> All right, okay. What are these? All the solids. So good old Lush. Um, we've got, this is a shampoo bar and a conditioner bar. So all you do is lather it up and... Like in your hand and then put it on your hair. Yeah, and, and it gets really like so soapy. soapy yeah. Okay. And that is... This is super... Smell that. Huh? Smell that, it's amazing. Oh my God. Yeah, but Lush does remind me of like being like a seven-year-old and getting bath bombs. <laughs> do I need to reframe that thought in my head? Maybe. Okay, fine. Maybe, maybe you just used to buy the wrong ones. Right. The really girly, right. sweet ones. 
But this is um, like a body cleansing oil. Yeah, it feels oily to touch. Yeah. But you might need to wash. How would you transport that just in a little? Uh, yeah, so they Lush actually do mini, like, well, like tins. Right, to carry them in. Yeah, so. Because afterwards, it, you're not going to use the whole thing so to bring it home, because that's a bit slippery, yeah. messy. Yeah. Okay, fine. And finally, a bar of chocolate. Good. Yeah. No, what's this? <laughs> you can try it if you like. No. <laughs> what is it? It does look tasty. This is, same again, Lush. It's called Hottie. It's a very fitting for you. Oh, stop <laughs> it. <laughs> and um, it's, it's meant to be a massage bar. Right. But it acts as a moisturiser, so you can use it on holiday. Oh, I see the the nobbles or whatever. Yeah. To master. Oh yeah. wow, and that's that's gorgeous. It and that feels nice. like that goes a long way. Yeah, it really does. Oh, on dry knees and dry heels, that's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Okay, and yeah. again, it's just because I guess when it gets hot, it starts melting. You need yeah. to find a way to transport that. But yeah. otherwise, keep it in the fridge maybe on holiday. That's a really good point. Your mini bar is not for your booze; it's yeah. for your product. But saying that, if it's in the tin, it will melt down and then harden in that shape. Again, so fine. Good. Yeah. Wow, MJ, you've really come up with some amazing <laughs> finds there. Well done. As yeah. usual, all these products will be linked below because there's too many to even remember. Um, you can follow MJ at mj.makeupartist. Yeah. And that's E-M-J, not just an yes. M. <laughs> anyway, we'll be back next Thursday um, with an exciting new fashion segment plus some more great beauty. Until then, don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your friends and comment below. Bye-bye.